but that evening in front of a bigger crowd, the two teams squared off again. The criterium didn't start well for the U.S. amateurs as Lance Armstrong got some road rash about halfway through. But after one free lap, he was back. Then, a four-man brake developed with Z riders, Sean Yates of Motorola, and Nate Schaefer of Team USA. Who should be chasing them down, but Lance Armstrong. The Richmond crowd was loving this action. Finney flatted on the last lap a rider could receive a free lap, so he was able to get his wheel changed and get back in without losing a lap. This meant he could still sprint for the points. The brake approached the bell lap, and Nate Schaefer attacked. His strategy was to go as hard as he could, make everyone work to reel him in, then let Lance counter off his attack. There was only one problem with his strategy. His move was so strong, no one could catch him and Nate Schaefer celebrated one of the greatest victories of his career. John Yates was second, and Lance Armstrong snagged third. Oh, well, well I'm part of the band, but really hard to meet 10 guys, and I tried so, to move up after that, and I think the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, third, who's second, who runs over to your man, that's saw Sean Yates and the other set rider coming up, and then Ryze Baycott, Chris said, Lance is right behind, and I was like, yeah, so we went back for him, and we caught up to him, they were waiting for us, and then we just worked smooth and kept it going the whole way. And then with about three to go, or five to go, uh, and he crashed. Chris said, well, where's the worst? Where'd you crash? I don't know. And then he said, uh, coming up after, with two to go, he said, uh, oh, you're making the first move. Uh-oh. Better wait a second. Sorry. 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 Good. 